Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. Hi, my name is Jess and today we're going to do a video which hopefully I'm going to do more of these. Um, quite frankly, I really like seeing these on YouTube and they are the TBR list. Specifically, this is going to be my April TBR list. Now, I only have a few books, you guys, just because I wanna ease my way in to starting like really reading each month. I'm kind of a slow reader. I thought I was gonna be a fast reader. I really did, but it turns out that it's not the case for me. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you some hardcover books. Now there is one book on my phone that I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. To be honest, I'm finishing it today. So, yeah, it's gonna continue, I, well, yeah, it'll be in my April TBR list because technically, even though I'm finishing it today, it's still in April. So it does count. And there are two other books that I'm gonna show you guys on my Kindle that were free for Kindle users on Amazon. So I'm also gonna show you those. Hopefully they look good on camera. I've never done that before. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay guys, book number one, Fastest Way by Dave Asprey. So for those of you who don't know who Dave Asprey is, he is the CEO and founder of Bulletproof Coffee. Um, he owns the podcast Bulletproof Radio. I follow him a lot on Instagram. He's super active there. And basically, God, I've been following him for a couple of years. I can't even speak. A couple of years now. And mostly, I have really enjoyed how he talks about fasting in the morning and basically just drinking coffee. Now, he has Bulletproof Coffee, which is um, just a very simple recipe. Now, I don't follow that. Frankly, I want to finish this book and then decide if I want to, you know, follow what he does to a T. But for now, um, I fast in the morning and honestly, like, I didn't mean to do that, you guys. Like, I just don't like breakfast as much and I just drink coffee and water and it does wonders for my body. And I've been doing that since COVID happened. So it's been a little bit over a year now and my acne has cleared up. I have so much energy. I don't have as much inflammation um, as I used to. And I mean, there's so much other like beneficial factors that have happened in my life because of it. Now he does it to a different extent and I'm so excited to, well, I'm honestly only on chapter two. I'm gonna take the whole month to finish this because I really want to understand what Dave is talking about and really kind of put it into perspective and compare it to my current lifestyle. But I'm really interested to see what he has to say about continuing fasting, how he does it, and healing inflammation. Because that is still something I think that, you know, not a lot of people talk about, but I think everyone has it, especially if you eat gluten or if you eat processed foods. I mean, I'm not a perfect human being. And I'm not saying that I do, um, that I skip all of that, but I'm really curious to see what he has to say. And so far I'm enjoying it. It's a very simple read. Um, it's not hard at all. It doesn't feel like you're like reading a textbook or anything like that. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for some health tips. And don't forget to follow him. He has very interesting opinions, I might say, on Instagram. So food for thought. Okay, book number two is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And, okay guys, <laughs> so this was on my March TBR, just like Dave Asprey's Fast This Way, and it's gonna be on my April TBR because I still haven't finished it. I'm a little over halfway, and I'm definitely going to do a review. Now, whether this book is going to have a YouTube video all on its own, or it's gonna be compiled with other books, I'm not too sure, but there's going to be a review happening just because I love this book. There's so many good things about it. Um, but then again, there are certain things that I'm just not loving or like sometimes the character, the main character, Addie, just like frustrates me. And I kind of just want to like go in the book and be like, what are you thinking? But you know what? I can see the appeal and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty embedded into it. And I heard that the ending is very satisfying. So I'm so super close. I'm finishing this book this week. I believe I calculated and I have to at least read 42 or 41 pages to be done by Friday. Hopefully I'm done before Friday, but I'm just going to give myself that amount of time um, to finish it because I won't really be able to, to read this this weekend because I have a lovely friend coming over. And yeah, but definitely pick this up. I know that this is from the year 2020, 
but I picked it up at Barnes and Noble. There were so many copies. I went to Book People in Austin and they dedicated like two rows on one bookshelf to this book alone. So like it has to be amazing. I mean, I think it's amazing. Um, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. The one thing I will say is that for me personally, it's not really a fast paced read. It's kind of, I would say medium paced. There are times where it's like super, super fast and there are like a few low times, but you know what? I think it's thoroughly enjoyable. So make sure to pick this one up. All right, guys. We are moving on to books that I have not picked up, that I have not read, and that I really want to finish before May comes. Now, the first one is called Consensual Hex by Amanda Harlow. Now, this book was on my book haul for my birthday. It was on that list, and I'm super excited to get into this because, well, one, I'm really looking for magical realism, and I think that this is going to engross everything that I'm wanting with magical realism because I haven't really had magical realism yet and I'm really interested. Typically when I read magic, it's like super fantasy based or if, you know, if it's real, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, like fast this way. I don't really read too much just normal reality based unless it's a romance, then I'll consider it. But this I'm super interested in. Um, it's kind of dark. It's dark academia. I'm pretty sure um, It follows a main character named Lee who was raped under very eerie circumstances and One day her professor. I think it's professor Weiss or Weiss correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Weiss um, Invites her to a seminar about gender power and witchcraft and she meets a lovely group of characters who have actual magic and they are tasked with finding a grimoire and it turns out that it is in the fraternity house of the boy who raped Lee. So we are definitely going to have a lot of revenge. I'm thinking we'll have a lot of magical realism, which I'm super excited about. Um, quite frankly, this is, I think the first of its kind for me where it deals with something very scary and terrifying such as rape with magic and i'm really curious to see how amanda portrays all of this and honestly guys look at that cover it is so beautiful i love how this is a woman i'm pretty sure this might be the main character lee and then she just has a lot of beautiful and vivid and bright colored snakes and honestly this is what drew me near it now i got this at barnes and noble and it was facing this way guys and i was just like straight for it I knew that I was going to like it. Um, I like the play on words. I think, or is that how you say it? Play on words? Yeah, consensual hex, consensual sex. I think that's what that is. But anyways, guys, I cannot wait to read this. I think it's gonna be super fast paced. And I wanna say there's not that many pages. Yeah, it's under, it's barely 300 pages, I think. And the text is pretty, pretty large yeah it's 308 pages the text is really large so i think this is going to be a very very fast paced read but this is going to be the third book i think that i'm going to be reading i was going to say listening to that's not the case okay so the third book is the glass hotel by emily st john mundell i believe i'm saying uh emily's last name correctly so a couple of things with this i found this book on goodreads one, so many people have rated it very highly, and two, I'm I'm dying for this cover. Guys, do you see that? It is so beautiful. For some reason, oh my gosh, my nails kind of, they don't match necessarily, but they looked great together. Um, the colors just remind me of the spring, and so this is kind of why this is on my April TBR and not like a summer TBR, just primarily because of this, and then this just kind of gives me eerie, I don't know, dark vibes, and... I really don't know much about this book other than obviously what I've read on the back. And it seems like we're going to be engrossed in an economic downfall. We have a, what is this, a five-star lodging called Hotel Cayet. Um, we follow a main character named Vincent who is a bartender at the hotel. And also a international Ponzi schemer named, and I'm probably going to say his last name wrong, Jonathan Al. Alkaitis. I think I'm saying that right, you guys. And it seems like there's a disappearance of a girl. I mean, we have mystery. I think we might have murder. It says a crisis and survival story. So I'm super interested to see what this um, entails. I really want to go into it not knowing too much. So honestly, I have not really looked at reviews of this book um, with spoilers or anything like that. So 
very excited and as far as how big the book is it's not big at all it looks like just like uh let's see where is the last page do, 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 do. oh it has 301 pages you guys again it's a very short read just like some of the others and large font in case you're interested again this looks like a perfect springtime book it doesn't look cheery spring it looks kind of dark spring but you know what i'm excited and i'm interested cannot wait okay guys so i'm gonna show you the last physical book that i'm going to be reading for my april tbr and i am so freaking stoked okay that was really a bad close-up but i don't care it is bunny by mona awad first of all can we just take a moment to look and admire at this cover it is beautiful do you see that it is pink it is yellow and it is black which also reminds me of spring and low-key was i don't know if y'all can see that can y'all see that it was the inspiration for my nail art i have a cotton tail bunny butt on my nail kind of the inspo because um obviously there's a bunny and i also found a picture on pinterest that had a bunny on it and i was like you know what this is what i want so my nails everything matches i'm so freaking excited now let's just get into the details so this is a horror horror book sorry guys i'm from texas i have a little bit of a southern accent and some words like pill peel dill whatever those don't make sense to me and neither does horror I think I'm saying that correctly and it's not the bad word. But anyways, Bunny is about a girl named Samantha who at university, she has a best friend named Ava, but she also, I guess, meets this clique of girls. They each call each other Bunny for some weird reason and they're basically like a sorority. Well, one day, Samantha gets an invitation to a fabled summit salon and she basically goes to this party I guess they like her and she just dives deeper and deeper and deeper into this clique of girls and I've heard that this book can be grotesque. I heard that it might give me the heebie-jeebies. I heard that it might give me some nightmares and that even though this is a spring and spring should be beautiful and bright and just happiness, it's probably going to kind of scare me a little. But you know what? I'm totally here for it. This is the first horror um, maybe consensual hex might be a little bit scary, but I think this is actually going to give me the heebie-jeebies and I'm so freaking excited All right guys, so the next book that I'm going to be talking about is actually the very first audiobook of April now I started this book last week so again, technically this is from a March TBR, but I was not expecting picking this book up at all it's the sequel to one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus this book is called one of us is next and i'm not going to say too much because i really think you should read the first book there's just so many details and characters that come from the first book to this book even though the main characters are, are kind of new um gosh i really can't say anything other than there's a couple of teenagers um there's one main person who basically to me honestly is a cyber bully but like to the extreme and they force students to do the truth or dare game and the truths and the dares can be quite devastating and of course someone ends up dying and it kind of just goes through like the who did it um method so i'm really excited i'm finishing this book today as you can tell um i only have a what is it two out two and a half hours you guys left so i'm definitely finishing it today now this video isn't sponsored by libby but it's an app that i used they partnered with my local library to basically give me just thousands and thousands or it feels like thousands and thousands of audiobooks that are extremely popular and you know what i read the first one on this app and this is the second book that i'm reading and i'm so freaking excited one because it was free and two because i love cleaning and cooking and i just love taking this wherever i'm going and so that's why i'm kind of getting through these very quickly and i don't know if i'm gonna do another audiobook this month i don't know i haven't got that far it could be and you know what if i do end up listening to more audiobooks it'll definitely be in my april to what is it tbr wrap-up list i'm like well you know what yeah i'm gonna do an april tbr wrap-up list i think that would be great 
that actually just hit me that I needed to do that. Anyways, guys, yeah, highly recommend. If you have the Libby app or if you can get this book, oh my gosh, read the first book, then this book. They're fast-paced reads. Just, yes, I'm also rating this one a four, maybe five on Goodreads. I mean, it was that good. I just love kind of like the mystery, like high school mystery, because I know this is a YA novel. Yeah, I think... Yeah, this is gonna be a four or five you guys i'm kind of shocked because i didn't think it was going to be that good but man oh man and speaking of karen and mcmanus she has a, a new book that's out and i think it's called the cousins and i want to get my hands on that i want to read that for war for may however i do have other books on my shelf that i'm going to read <sighs> that i need to read before I get my hands on that book because I love the way she writes. She actually might be up there for me in authors. Oh man, I know this is my thinking face. But anyways, you guys, maybe if I just keep hustling and read well more than what I'm giving you, then I can get it. That is my goal. But until then, we'll see. <laughs> Okay guys, so the last two books are actually free books on my Kindle, with the first one being A Sapphire Beach Cozy Mystery, Vendors and Villains by Angela K. Ryan. Sorry, that was a mouthful. So I like this book for three reasons. One, it's a short book surprisingly, but it makes sense because two, it's free, and three, look at this beautiful cover. First of all, again, my nails are matching with my books. Did I plan this correctly? I'm like, did I do this by myself or was this just fate? But anyways, so look at that guys. Do y'all see how precious that is? Now, honestly, when I saw that it was free and I saw that the cover is pretty, I literally just hit download. So I have really no clue what this is about and I've picked it up on Goodreads to see and it, surprisingly, it has a lot of reviews. It's over four stars, but there's only been less than 100 reviews. It's like 80 something. And it says on one of the reviews that Connie is helping in a fundraiser for the orphanage with the help of Emma. At a craft sale at the church, the prize necklace goes missing. And basically, there's a mystery. I don't want to give too much away because the person kind of gave just a little bit of a spoiler, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. So if you have a Kindle or if you have access to get free books from Amazon, make sure to look this up. This is definitely going to be a very quick read and I'll probably do this over the weekend to be honest when I'm reading everything else. Okay guys, so we are at the very last book. Um, again, it's on Kindle. It's free if you type in just free books or just type in the book name. And I'm gonna show you guys, I closed my Kindle for a few minutes because the battery is dying. But it is The Sea Witch by Bethany Hoflich. I think that's how you say her last name. Now what? <laughs> my nails freaking match all of my covers, you guys. Did I do this subconsciously? I probably did. I have no idea, but this cover is so beautiful. It is a short story. Um, honestly, just like the other book, I have no clue what it's about. So I quickly typed it in Goodreads and it is basically a short story inspired by the little mermaid and i personally love the little mermaid i mean it's not my favorite disney princess i guess that's what i should say but i do love the story especially when i was a kid i watched it several several times so i'm super excited to start this this is the second book on my candle that i'm going to read this year i can't remember the lap maybe the Ghost Bride, I think, was the last book that I read on my Kindle, and that was like two years ago, you guys. So I'm definitely trying to start something new. And April, with April being kind of like crazy, I wanted to give myself variety. So I have physical books, I have audio, and I have my Kindle. Now, with all of that being said, I feel like I'm not challenging myself enough for this TBR month. I mean, I know I have several books, and I have different varieties. I have physical books, I have audio, I have my Kindle because I really need to start utilizing that. Um, I just feel like I should probably add more books, but you know what guys, I'm not, especially not in this video. If I finish all of my books, which I know I will, but if I do it way before the end of April, I am going to probably choose several more from my bookshelf that I got from my birthday haul and also the haul that I did a couple weeks ago from Half Price Books and Book People. And I will definitely alert you guys. Whether I do an updated TBR list 
or some book reviews or something in the middle of April to just kind of keep y'all guys updated because I definitely don't want to wait until the very last video now that I'm thinking about it to say hey guys like I actually read all of these videos or all of these books and you're gonna be like wait what that wasn't in your beginning April TBR I'm probably just gonna keep updating you guys as I go but you know what that's awesome because I'm super freaking stoked I know for sure that I'm going to get and tackle my TBR list because I want to read all of these books and my goal actually is to probably read way more than what I'm challenging myself with currently. So I'm hoping that one of these bad boys behind me are going to be read this month. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> we're going to end this video right here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know I am super pumped and stoked for what this month has to offer. Um, and yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram handle at the very end, but it's the, what is it? Jessica the Austinite. That's also my TikTok. For those of you who are interested, I don't post too much on TikTok. When I do, it's kind of just clumps at a time. But go ahead and follow me, you guys. That'd be awesome. Also, leave me a note in the comment below. Like, what are you reading? Are you going to read something on my TBR list? Do you have any recommendations? I'd love to know. I'd love to hear from you guys. But anyways, I hope you have an awesome day wherever you are. I hope you had a lovely Easter weekend. I know I did. Um, got to spend it with family and friends to be honest and it was pretty chill it was very relaxing but without further ado guys i will see you in my next video bye